always got. I think I don't know. I think all jokes. <laughs> so there was like this um when Triple X died, there was this comedian that like the day of or the day after, she like made a joke about it and fucking oh, got Jesus fucking ripped apart on the internet. And I'm thinking in my head like. Honestly, it's kind of fucked up that you're joking about somebody like the day that they died or the day of. But it's a fucking like you're a comedian. It's a joke. You came to a fucking comedy show. A lot of the people that you go and see live, like you know who the fuck they are. You know what kind of fucking jokes they have. If you're watching Netflix specials or giving something a chance, like you can just turn it off. Like what the fuck is the problem with just turning it off or walking out? If if you're watching a bad movie, you'll walk out. You know what I mean? Like jokes are jokes. That's how I look at it. If if it's not funny to you, then it wasn't meant for you. I actually, I actually do have something in the vein of this topic. Uh, as corpse knows, I was in the military, and I don't know if you know this about the military, but a lot of people kill themselves. And there's this one time I'm walking through the barracks, and they got the police caution tape around the room. Right, instant. I should know there's something wrong. This dude in the hazmat comes out, and. and <laughs> I'm like, oh, would you guys find the sock from Monsters, Inc.? And he's like, one of your friends just killed themselves. <laughs> <laughs> the sock from Monsters, Inc., Jesus. Oh, my God. And I'm like, in hindsight, totally should have known. Totally That's a good joke, known. though. <laughs> I thought that was fucking killer. <laughs> dude didn't, even, dude didn't even laugh at it. He's like, he's like, one of your friends just killed themselves. And I was like, I'm going to go get lunch. <laughs> Jesus. That it's is- funny that you... No, it's funny that you mentioned that because um, I, there's a friend of mine from high school. Her and I, you know, she's been around my group for a long time. And uh, she had a son that passed away um, real young, like less than a year old. And um, she, like, her escape and, like, to make her feel better, like, she tells dark humor. So me and her and a couple of my boys, like we were, like a couple of us were just sitting in a fucking and around ta- around the table, just having some drinks, and we just kept making like fucking horrible. Like if anybody else was in the room, it was like horrible. Like she, like she had this like little vial, and I was like, like what do you do? You carry him everywhere you go, and then like God. she had said something about Jeez. like because he was in the hospital, and uh, she was like, because uh, she brought his ashes home, and she was like. You know he fi- he finally made it home, and I was like, w- well, like, did he have his own bedroom or like what the fuck? <laughs> like, you know, just like jokes like jokes like that, which people would find them like very fucking offensive. You know what I mean? But I just realized like 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 Milkman said, some jokes are just not for other people and they're just for you or the group of people that you're around, and they're funny somewhere. 